Welcome back everyone. We are in the Care 11 kitchen with our friends from St. Paul's Farmers Market. And this Saturday, Lower Town will come alive with lots of locally grown fresh fruits and veggies. We have a nice little spread here in the kitchen. And here to tell us more are David Katsonis. He's the executive director of the St. Paul's Farmers Market. And to my right is Nick Robinson. He's a grower and founder of R&R &R Cultivation. Thank you both for being here. Oh, thanks Absolutely. for having us. Thank you. So the farmer's market is always a sign that spring is coming to the end as summer is on the horizon. It is. It's officially here starting Saturday at 7 o'clock. What can we expect this year? Oh, we'll have a lot of um, plants uh, starting out, a lot of flowering plants, a lot of great starts for your garden, veggie starts. Um, we have just a great variety of foods so everything you would find at the grocery store will be available at the farmers market. We'll have root veggies, uh, we'll have greens, lettuce, lots of honey, um, baked goods, meats, eggs, all locally produced. That's one thing I love the most about the farmers market. Whatever city you are in, you are supporting local entrepreneurs and business folks like Nick. This is, you're not new but Kind of new this year? Kind of new this year, yeah. right, right, yeah. So we started out at the St. Paul Farmer's Market. I started out in about a three foot by three foot tent in my basement and uh, just wanted to bring fresh food to the community. Um, and, and now I've expanded and expanded and I'm gonna be in about 20 different St. Paul Farmer's Markets this summer. That's so. fantastic, and you'll be selling your mushrooms? Yes, yes. How, so, what's the best way to uh, cook those once you get them home? So my, my favorite way to, to cook the mushrooms this, for instance, you can take these and you can you can peel them off, mm. right? And slice them down, uh, put just a tiny little bit of olive oil on the bottom of a pan, saute them, and then you can add them into spaghettis, risottos, in an omelet, uh, very versatile mushrooms. So. Love it in the omelet, perfect dish, perfect breakfast during the summer. Absolutely. Anything new that will be different that we haven't seen in years before? Well, one thing I really like is over there on the other side of Nick, we have lettuce that's growing in crates and it's growing until the second you buy it. Mm. Um, so it certainly can't get fresher uh, than that. So we've got uh, products growing in crates. We've got some ice cream here. Looks like a beer bottle. Tell us about uh, some of the things that we have here. Sure, that's kombucha. It's okay. uh, made in Andover. Um, and then we've got uh, different honeys. Um, something that's kind of newer is, is this here. It's a cough and sore throat honey mix. Oh. Um, it's kind of nice. We have pierogies that are sold ready to eat or take them home and fry them up. Um, uh, we have locally roasted coffee. So um, lots of options. Plenty to see if folks come out this Saturday and throughout the season. Absolutely. David Absolutely. and Nick, thank you so much to both of you for being here. Again, St. Paul Farmers Market kicks off a brand new season this Saturday. That's April 27th at its outdoor Lower Town location. We will put all of this information on our 11 a.m. show page on care11.com.